The summary of CEO stories, children employed by owners, brought to you by Click Through College. The book opens by setting the stage with a world of family businesses, a realm characterized by shared values, commitment, and long-term vision. Each culture adds its unique color to the picture, and while these businesses vary widely, they hold a few core values that define their essence: a deep connection to their roots and a profound sense of responsibility towards their communities. Chapter one: Roots. Roots serves as the foundation of the book, introducing readers to the fascinating world of family businesses. The authors kick off the narrative by discussing the deep historical ties and unique attributes that characterize these organizations across cultures. Central to family businesses are shared values, a commitment to longevity, and a vision that spans generations. The chapter expertly weaves in how these values form the bedrock of such businesses, fueling their endurance and adaptability. The authors bring to life the familial culture that pervades these enterprises, shaping their identities and influencing their decision making. Family businesses, unlike their corporate counterparts, operate on principles of trust, loyalty, and deep-rooted relationships. These principles, established early on, seep into every aspect of the business, creating an environment conducive to sustained growth and stability. As the narrative in Roots unfolds. Readers are introduced to the unique dynamics and challenges that characterize family businesses. They are complex entities shaped by personal relationships and professional considerations. The authors underscore the duality that family business leaders must navigate: maintaining harmony within the family while ensuring the business thrives. This tension serves as a common thread throughout the book, shaping the experiences and growth of the young CEOs at its center. In conclusion. Roots paints a vivid picture of the landscape in which the stories of these young CEOs unfold. It introduces readers to the compelling world of family businesses, highlighting their unique attributes, foundational values, and the inherent complexities of managing business with family. Chapter Two: The Apprentice. In The Apprentice, we plunge into the formative experiences of the book's protagonists, children born into business-owning families. The authors delve into their early years. Highlighting the gradual integration into the business, often in the form of summer jobs, apprenticeships, or informal participation in business discussions, as the narratives unfold, we witness the transformative impact of these early experiences. The children are exposed to the nuances of running a business, from understanding operations and financial management to grappling with employee relations and decision making. This hands-on exposure provides them with practical knowledge, enhancing their understanding of the business world beyond what traditional education might offer. The authors underscore the value of this experiential learning, emphasizing its role in shaping the future leadership skills of these young individuals. Through their stories, we see these young apprentices learning the ropes, making mistakes, and gradually growing in confidence and ability. These experiences provide them with a first-hand understanding of their family business's inner workings and the broader business landscape in which it operates. In the concluding parts of *The Apprentice*, the authors reflect on how these formative experiences plant the seeds of entrepreneurship, resilience, and leadership in these children. They argue that these early lessons are invaluable in preparing them for future leadership roles, equipping them with a deep understanding of the business and an innate ability to make informed decisions. Chapter Three: The Journey. The journey follows these young heirs as they navigate the intricacies of their family business. The authors chronicle their experiences as they face the challenges of daily operations, decision making, and managing employee relations. This chapter captures their metamorphosis from young apprentices to capable business leaders. Readers see these young individuals tackling operational challenges, negotiating contracts, managing crises, and making strategic decisions. They face the realities of business, which include successes and failures, profits and losses, and periods of growth and stagnation. Through these experiences, they develop a keen understanding of their businesses, markets, and competition. As the narrative progresses, the authors delve into the personal transformations these experiences induce. These young individuals are not just learning about business; they're also learning about themselves, their leadership styles, their strengths, and their areas for improvement. They grapple with the pressure, responsibility, and expectations that come with their roles, which serve as catalysts for personal growth.
The authors expertly portray the complexities these young CEOs face as they step out of the shadow of their predecessors and begin to forge their own paths. The chapter highlights the delicate balance they maintain between upholding their family's legacy and introducing their own innovative ideas. Readers get a glimpse of the trials and tribulations these young CEOs endure, and more importantly, how they turn these challenges into opportunities for growth and learning. As the journey concludes, the authors reflect on the profound impact these experiences have on shaping the future leadership styles of these young CEOs. The chapter underscores the significance of these early years in laying a solid foundation for their eventual roles as leaders of their family businesses. It emphasizes that these young individuals are not merely passive recipients of a handed-down legacy. They are active participants in shaping their own future and that of their family businesses. This chapter provides compelling evidence that early, real-world business experiences play a crucial role in preparing these children for their future roles. By witnessing the highs and lows of business, making decisions, and dealing with the consequences, these children develop resilience, sound judgment, and the ability to lead, a testament to the value of hands-on learning and early involvement in business. Chapter 4, The Challenges. The Challenges dives deep into the hurdles that these young CEOs face as they transition into leadership roles. The authors explore the multitude of factors at play, the generational gap, the need for innovation amidst tradition, and the weighty responsibility of carrying forward a family legacy. Generational conflicts often arise as older family members may be reluctant to change, while the younger ones are eager to innovate and modernize. The authors explore how these young leaders navigate such situations, delicately balancing respect for tradition with the drive for change. We see them grapple with tough decisions and differing viewpoints, learning to assert their ideas while maintaining familial harmony. The authors also delve into the responsibility these young CEOs feel towards their family legacy. There is the overwhelming pressure to preserve what has been built over generations while ensuring the business remains relevant in an ever-evolving market landscape. It's a balancing act between the past and the future that requires tact, wisdom, and courage. Throughout the chapter, the authors stress the importance of adaptability and resilience. They portray the unique challenges that these CEOs face as learning opportunities, catalysts for growth and maturation. The trials they face and overcome shape their leadership style, make them more resilient, and equip them with the skills needed to steer their family businesses into the future. Chapter 5, The Transition. The transition delves into the sensitive phase of leadership handover from one generation to the next. This chapter explores the emotional and practical aspects of succession, a process marked by a mixture of anticipation, anxiety, and excitement. The authors discuss the meticulous preparation that precedes a successful transition. It's not merely about learning the ropes but understanding the subtleties of the business and the family dynamics that intertwine with it. We see these young CEOs preparing themselves for the handover, learning about the business's financials, operations, and strategic goals. The chapter further explores the emotional aspects of transition. The successors grapple with the mixed feelings of stepping into larger shoes, the excitement of leading, the fear of failure, and the responsibility towards upholding the family legacy. It's a deeply personal journey marked by introspection, growth, and maturity. The authors conclude the chapter by emphasizing the importance of mutual respect, open communication, and trust during the transition. They discuss the role of the predecessors in ensuring a smooth handover, offering their wisdom, guidance, and support to the young leaders taking the helm. Chapter 6, The Rain. The Rain explores the transformative period when these young CEOs assume leadership roles. We see them bringing their own ideas to the table, driving change, and shaping the future of their family businesses. It's a fascinating phase of growth, evolution, and innovation. The authors capture the strategies these CEOs employ to propel their businesses forward. They highlight their efforts to strike a balance between maintaining tradition and driving innovation, a duality crucial for the sustained success of a family business. We see these young leaders redefining the business's strategic direction, modernizing operations, and navigating new market dynamics. They also tackle the challenges of employee management, fostering a culture that respects tradition while embracing change. The authors conclude this chapter by discussing the impact of these transformations on the business and family dynamics. 
They underscore the significance of these young leaders' contributions, lauding their courage, vision, and determination. Chapter 7 Lessons Learned Lessons Learned synthesizes the wisdom accumulated from these remarkable narratives. It echoes the notion that leadership is a lifelong journey of learning, resilience, and adaptability. The authors discuss the various lessons learned through the experiences of these young CEOs. They discuss the importance of resilience, a trait that has helped these CEOs navigate their unique challenges and come out stronger. The authors discuss the value of adaptability in the fast-paced, ever-evolving business landscape. They highlight how the young CEOs manage to preserve tradition while embracing innovation, making strategic shifts to ensure the business's continuity and growth. Furthermore, the authors emphasize the importance of effective communication. They elaborate on how these CEOs navigated difficult conversations, whether negotiating with stakeholders, resolving familial disputes, or bridging the generational gap. They underline that, in a family business, open, respectful communication forms the cornerstone of harmonious relationships and successful business operations. A crucial lesson shared is the significance of humility and lifelong learning. The authors point out how these young CEOs continually learned from their predecessors, their peers, their employees, and their own experiences. They highlight that it was their eagerness to learn, coupled with their humility, that allowed them to grow as individuals and as leaders. Lastly, the authors draw attention to the value of patience and long-term vision in running a family business. They demonstrate through these stories that success often requires a long-term perspective and the ability to endure short-term challenges. In essence, Lessons Learned is a culmination of the wisdom gathered through the journey of these young CEOs. It showcases the unique leadership insights gained through the hands-on running of family businesses, offering invaluable lessons for any aspiring leader. Chapter 8, Reflections. The concluding chapter, Reflections, is a contemplative revisiting of the experiences and insights shared in the book. The authors summarize the essence of these narratives, highlighting the influence of early involvement in shaping future leaders, the power of resilience, and the unique dynamics of family businesses. Reflections also underscores the lasting impact family businesses have on communities and economies. They are not just commercial entities. They are pillars of the community, offering employment, driving economic growth, and contributing to societal well-being. Moreover, these businesses serve as the training ground for future leaders, instilling in them a unique set of skills and values that shape their leadership journey. As the book concludes, it leaves readers with a deep understanding of the unique journeys of these young CEOs. It is a testament to the power of resilience, adaptability, and a long-term vision in navigating the challenges of leadership. The book reaffirms the belief that leadership foundations can be established early in life, laying a robust groundwork for future success. In its entirety, CEO Stories, Children Employed by Owners, celebrates the intricate world of family businesses, their rich heritage, and their influence in shaping leaders of tomorrow. It's a tribute to those who, against all odds, embrace tradition, drive innovation, and inspire future generations. The summary of CEO stories, children employed by owners.